back, guys. It is Vengeance Hero, and you are joining me for episode two of Returnal. And I'm telling you, this game doesn't mess around. I thought there was going to be a whole intro and all that stuff. No, it, the game literally starts with you crash landing and waking up again. There's no continue. There's nothing. It just drops you right into the game. So it does not mess around. It's very quick load in. Uh, and, and here we are. We're back at the crash site. You guys probably remember, I got my ass kicked a little bit. Um, I did turn up the brightness a little bit. The um, is changing. Could the force be adapting? I found that uh, when I was playing back uh, some of my video, it was very, very dark. That, it didn't seem dark to me, but in the playback it definitely was. Kerberons. I don't know if I can get attacked while I'm doing that. That was weird. Is that just part of the upgrade? I keep thinking I'm going to be able to double jump. But I cannot. I mean... I guess we gotta do this. Oh. And I hate it so much. It's so loud. There's sound everywhere. Keep forgetting you can time your reloads as well. Big oof. Whoa! Walked into that one. Shit. There we go. God damn, such a pretty game. Tachyomatic Carbine. Does that mean I just picked up the... There we go, okay. Xenotype device acquired. I think this will prove a useful tool. What is that purple diamond thing up there? Ah. An item of some sort? I'm just assuming I can't get in there yet. Maybe at some point. 
What's up, brother? The other thing that's really weird is your ammo recharges over time, and I keep thinking I have to reload, so I'm like constantly hitting square, which does nothing. What are you? Ah! Fuck. Treasure? ether do I have? Oh, okay, not very much. Obelites. I don't know what obelites are. This looks ominous. Horizontal barrage. I do like that. I think I'm going to keep the one that I have. You know, tech required. cooldown. I mean that. Oh, I don't actually know what a lot of this stuff does. I guess maybe we'll just have to give them a try as we're playing. Can't get through there yet, I don't think. Oh, fuck me. That scared the shit out of me. I forgot those things exist. I have interacted with other versions of myself. But I worry one day I will re-experience these same interactions from their perspectives. But are they truly me? Or just hollowed corpses? Maybe the face of 
things to come. No idea what triggers that. Those little mini rocket things. Treasure chest thing over here somewhere? Oh, yo, what's up? Oh, fuck me. Jesus Christ, I thought that was gonna be a lot worse. Okay, so for every three of those, your integrity is increased. I don't know what the ADR is. Discovered xenotype technology on the corpse of a sentient. Scan is indicating potential for suit augmentation. Pick up some goddamn alien technology and fucking put it on your head. Appears safe to repurpose. Are you fucking sure about that? System integration complete. Performing a function test to confirm. Your suit can now use translocators to teleport. Okay. Probably should pay attention to some of this shit. Uh, translocators are devices that allow you to teleport within a biome. Proximity translocators have a set destination, while regular ones allow you to select your destination from all the other active translocators. Uh, proficiency measures your combat ability per cycle. You get proficiency from each hostile that you dispatch, but there are also items that can grant you proficiency or affect your proficiency rate, how much proficiency you gain from dispatching hostiles and items. Uh, proficiency level determines the minimum level of weapons you can find in the world. Okay. Consumables. At Atropos is filled with consumables that can aid your progress. You choose when to use them, but they're consumed on use. You're initially limited to only one consumable slot, but you can carry multiple copies of the same consumable. Hmm. When encountering new consumables, you always have the choice to swap out the items. Weapon systems. Each weapon you discover has three properties, alt fire stats and traits. Alt fire is an alternative firing mechanism that recharges over time. Stats affect the weapon's power and other attributes that are unique for each weapon, while traits can modify or add new behaviors to it. Many traits start as locked, but you can unlock them with continuous use of the weapon. Your proficiency level affects how high the stats can be on the weapons you find. Alt fire, we know what that is. Malfunctions. Your suit can malfunction when coming in contact with with malignant entities such as containers, cons consumables, or even certain enemy projectiles, all of these have a chance to create a malfunction, triggering ne negative effects that can only be removed by performing the task indicated. Okay. Gaining a third malfunction triggers critical malfunction, which will destroy a random carried item. God damn. Overload. Okay, they can overheat, slowly recharges itself if you pull the trigger. Adrenaline level is raised for every three hostiles. You eliminate up to a maximum adrenaline level of five. Upon taking any damage, however, your adrenaline level is reset. Each level provides a unique effect which stacks with each other. Okay. 
So, that is what the ADR is. That is good to know. Good that we're paying a little bit of attention here. Who the fuck is you? The dead ass mother. Might as well just hop in this bitch. God damn. Could confirmed. Point to point teleportation. Location exit seems fixed. I don't think I'm going to open it. That is pretty cool. That is some cool ass shit. More guys coming? away from me. Who are you? Xenotech device for accurate reconstruction of complex entities per environment. So you pretty much have to find new translocators to uh, activate them. There's one back here. Okay, objective updated. need either. Definitely need those. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna go in there. Oh my god, it's shooting me over. Oh, fuck! Boom! That was really trippy. Discovered xenotype technology that produces other devices. Oh, that's fucking creepy. So, obelites are. I have 300. Okay. Powered with obelites. Ah, very interesting. Okay. So, this is kind of like the store area. Device that exchanges ether and obelites for one another. It seems poised to do something if enough obelites are placed in it. Hmm. How is there so many in there? Is shit online all the time? Oh, this doesn't look good at all. Obelisk of some sort. Evidence of rudimentary xenotype language discovered. Currently lacking resources to decipher this xenoglyph. Xenoglyph. Writings by the sentients. Find and collect xenoglyph ciphers to translate them. Interesting.
discovered a fragment of the xenotype language. Okay. Ten. Okay, so we should be able to decipher this now. Is this translating correctly? Severed brethren. Maddening agony. That is a bunch of goddamn gibberish. Okay, so that is just another little side thing that you can do. Detecting a strange Weird. energy reading. Setting a marker on my map. That is really cool looking. What the fuck? Okay, so ovalites you get from killing enemies. You go. There you are. Yeah, fuck, loser. Give me my overlights. I want my. Oh! Fuck. Holy fuck. I want my fucking Ublek. Where are you going? Huh? Where, where, where are you going? Oh. What, where'd you go? Fatal projectile impact. Oh, this motherfucker died a long time ago. Jukes. Oh. That was that was nice. Modified sidearm, blast shell, and ricochet. I'm good with my rifle actually. I really like this thing. What are you? Nullification sphere. So how do I tell if I have malfunctions again? Now that I know obelites are kind of important as like a currency, I don't think I want to convert them into health. What are you? What's going on? I don't know if I like this weapon. Done these motherfuckers. Dang it. 
Damn. Oh, fuck. Okay, I am still undecided. I, I do really like the huge AoE, but I don't know. I, I prefer the carbine, to be completely honest. Now what do we got? Oh my god. Kill it for sure. Seems docile. It's parasitically attached to my arm. Dumbass. Does not appear hostile. Somehow, it's strengthening and weakening my suit. Parasites have both beneficial and detrimental effects to your suit. Press to access your statuses to learn more about attached parasites. Reduces proficient auto repairs while at low integrity. So how do I get rid of it? Can I get rid of it? Distracting slow stitch. Huh. This is what people refer to as white people shit. Don't go fucking poking at shit, you don't know what it is. Because it will turn out to be a fucking parasite that eats your face off. Hardly worth jumping there. I might as well just run back to this door. Holy shit. That thing sounds really loud. Oh! What are you? Holy fuck. Okay. Secret cave? It's good to know those things are here. Fucking 
gross ass things. Shit. Shit! I picked that thing up, didn't I? Oh, weird. I'm good still. They built protection. This must have occurred it's centuries weird. ago. Discovered item. Anti energy pulse. Release an expanding burst of energy that turns hostile projectiles into obelites. I actually kind of like the idea of that. I know I'm dropping two nullification spheres. That's okay. No. What in the fuck are you? Goddamn Metroid bullshit?
my god. Holy shit. Give me my Ublak! Okay. Why does that one have a shield on it? That is clearly not going to work. Be here. Yeah, no kidding. I think I am reliving my memories in that house, but not fully. They're corroded. Some parts are missing, others seem manufactured. But I can remember the torment, Very feeling weird. like I was losing my mind. No comfort here. No safe space. And the astronaut keeps following me. Oh god.
Got that low integrity. That is literally the first time we've used an item. Grants a large amount of... Okay. Is that like an immediate? Or a usable? Consumable, I should say? What kind of parasite are you? It seems kind of terrible. We got close a couple of times there to dying again. Why, bro? Holy shit balls. much much better although what does this do let's try it I mean there's a pretty good chance we are not gonna live much longer What's going on over here? Another glyph? Xenoglyph? Eyes beholding. We must leave for the wastes where raptured mind. Okay. That makes sense. Ooh, the house key. To lockdown mode here.
What are you? Appears to be another teleportation device, but more complex in construction. See what kind of cool shit we got this time. Discovered a broken automaton. Hmm. Clutching... A potential tool? Uh... Selene? Safe to repurpose. What the fuck? A xenotype like weapon. Alright, a lot of things are popping up here. Crimson Gateway, large scale translocator, unknown destination, requires Crimson Key. Press to perform melee attack, use melee to attack hostiles, break barriers, and obstacles. Oh man. It's so good. It's so fucking cool. Get fucked! Oh man. This just keeps getting fucking better and better. Okay, there's like gates everywhere. Must be something like a zipline type item that we can get later. This is my guess. What the fuck? What is that? Oh, they are spotlights. That fucking blast you with lasers? No. No way. I don't know how important ether is. Anathema key? Xenotech gate that is more heavily secured. I guess we can go right back to the house. Oh, damn. Just melted my ass. Being in first person. Strange. I logged my first missions in this binder. 
But this is stored in the Mothership's archives. Oh, it's me! This was taken after I left. Why? Thirty-six. This shit's becoming a fucking horror game. It looks really nice, though. It should never be open. Open. Okay. I'll just get the fuck out of here then. Bro. I, I fucking hate this. I hate this Who's shit. Who's up there? This is getting weirder and weirder. <sighs> Who the fuck? is a hell of a drug. Artifacts are items with beneficial effects. Some have passive effects, while some have activation conditions. You can view them on the equipment tab in the suit computer. What are you, little guy? You do nothing, I guess. A tropian blade. Man, that shit is so cool. However, we are going to cut the episode off here um, because I'm seriously just becoming obsessed with this game and I want to continue playing. Um, so I'm going to try and uh, try and keep the episodes similar to the Miles ones, like 30 minutes if I can. This one's probably over that at this point. Um, I am really enjoying the game. I hope you guys are as well. Uh, make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed this episode. Leave me some comments if you have played uh, Returnal, if you want to play it, um, and what you thought if you did play it. Um, and also, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you do not miss out on any future content. Uh, I am kind of simultaneously uploading again, sort of. Um, I've got Miles Morales, which I have finished. I am just in the process of uploading, and I may upload Returnal kind of simultaneously, maybe on every other day kind of thing, uh, depending on how much I can actually play. Um, so yeah, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. And uh, as always, guys, I will look forward to seeing you in the next one.